Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So as you can see by the title of this video, this is another collective clothing haul. Now I wasn't planning on filming another one of these for the winter time, but I've bought a lot of clothes recently and it kind of just piled up. So I definitely have enough for a haul. I haven't bought shoes since like the summertime so I kind of went a bit ham. I thought I would film another haul for you guys. Just like my other hauls that I've done I will do try on shots of everything. Everything in this haul is either from, it's mostly from Kmart. There are some things from Dotty, Cotton On, Boohoo, Glassons. There's something I bought online from Facebook. Yeah, I think that's it. I've kind of gone a bit insane. I think I'm now over the whole buying clothes thing for a while. So yeah, I think this will definitely do me. I feel like this video is going to be a really, really long one. So grab a drink, grab a snack, and then come back to this video because we're going to be here a while. So without further ado, let's jump straight into this video. So I'll also try and link um, as much of the stuff that I can find. So if you do want to get your hands on anything, then you can. I might start off with shirts. So the first top that I have is this one here. It's just like a plain white t-shirt. Um, this one is ribbed. I don't know if it is going to come up on camera. Oh, there you go. You can kind of see. It didn't have anything like this. Um, in my collection the only kind of tight white top I have is cropped so I thought I would pick up just a plain white top this one I bought from Kmart in a size 12 I tend to go up a size in Kmart just because they can run quite small I think I could have done with a 10 but I mean the 12 still fits me really really nice it is a little bit sheer on the material so I do have to wear like a nude bra with it I do want to find one of these in a long sleeve and in a black as well. This one was just like seven dollars um, and I have been wearing it and it is really really comfy. That last kind of top that I bought is kind of like a bralette top but you could wear this on its own with like high-waisted jeans or you could wear it like under a top that just like ties in the middle and kind of make it as like a little little bit of something extra and that is this top here it's just like a khaki green like bralette it has the little like sheer bit underneath and then it has like the actual like bit that covers your tits. Um, it has adjustable straps which is good and the back just looks like this. So this one I bought from Glassons. I got this in a size 12. Fits me really really nice. I didn't have anything like this in my collection either and I didn't have any bralettes that have the little bit coming down. I haven't kept any of my receipts but I think this one was on sale for like $10 or so. Like I didn't pay that much for it. They did have these in black as well and I would have liked to have gotten one in black as well but they just didn't have a size 12 in the black clothing piece for like a summertime like party at night or like drinks or something. So I recently sold a lot of my jeans because a lot of them were too small. So I'm usually about a size 10 to 12 in the bottoms and a size 8 to 10 on the top but if it's like jumpers I tend to go a size 12 or 14 just because I like them oversized. A lot of my jeans just didn't fit me anymore so I really needed some new jeans. So I just picked up these ones here. They are extremely stretchy jeans which I like. They're just long and skinny. Um, these ones I bought from Kmart. These ones are the skinny high rise jeans. I got them in a size 10. Um, the front pockets are like the fake pockets which I don't really like but the little pocket is an actual pocket and then the back they just have two pockets as well. I really really like the Kmart jeans. They're really really good quality and they stretch. Um, these ones I think I bought online for like $17 which is pretty cheap for jeans. Um, they are quite a bright blue colour so I do want to get some jeans that are in a darker wash and they're really really good. So if you're after some new jeans and you don't want to pay a lot for them then check out Kmart. Next up I might do a jumpsuit. So this jumpsuit I had been eyeing up for a while. Um, again it is from Kmart but I didn't want to pay full price for it but then it came down on clearance and I just thought I had to have it. And that is this um, black and white like checkered jumpsuit. It has a little buckle that comes around on the middle which 
you can actually like adjust it like it has different ones that you can adjust it the straps again have like the different like button lengths so you can adjust it as well if the straps don't fit right uh, it has a zip running down the back and then it just comes into these like wide like culotte style trousers um these ones were on sale for five dollars and i got them in a size 12. in hindsight i probably could have gone down to the 10 but like the crotch area fits me really really well it's just the back that fits kind of big on me but i have actually brought some fashion tape for this and another item that i'm about to show you just so i can stick down the excess fabric i've only got one jumpsuit at the moment and it is a size 8 so it's getting quite small on me now. I thought I'd pick up this one just because it's a similar like design to the one that I currently own. It's a little bit sheer so like I feel like you'd have to wear like a black or a nude like bra underneath this um and undies. But yeah I just thought it was really really cute. Yeah for $5 I was just like um yes please. So next up I might do a loungewear set. So again I bought this loungewear set from Kmart and I have seen so many people raving about this loungewear set. So I got both the top and the pants, but I'll show you the top first. So I picked up this top here. So it's just like a like long sleeve top. It's got these little like black like speckles on it, um, which I think it just adds a little bit of something. The top is kind of just like a crew neck style and yeah, it's got the seam coming down here. It's just a really, really nice, comfy, floaty top. This one I got in the size 10 to 12. There is another um, loungewear set that I am eyeing up from Kmart, but they were sold out of my size of the pants in store and the top had like a dust stain on the sleeve, so I didn't buy it and then I can't find the pants online so I'm just kind of waiting for my Kmart to restock but yeah like I know like loungewear has been like a big trend recently so I really wanted to jump on um the hype and these are the pants so again I got the pants in a size um 10 because 10 is my usual size in hindsight I probably could have gone a size 8 in the pants because they do fit quite not like baggy like they do fit me but like they fit are quite a big fit like I feel like the lounge wearing Kmart runs a bit bigger but then you don't want to get something that's too tight because who wants to wear tight loungewear? So the pants just have like an elastic, so they're really, really stretchy. Again, they have that like spotty print. And then the trousers like come into this little flare on the bottom, which I just think is really, really cute. You just find these in the pajama section. Was it $14 for the top and $17 for the pants? I can't quite remember, but the whole set, if you like put it together, is like under $40. So that's really, really good for loungewear. And they literally so so soft like I can't even describe like Kmart is really coming out with like all the good like clothing at the moment like this stuff is really really good quality so the next two-piece set I bought from Boohoo I saw it on their Instagram and as soon as I saw it on their Instagram I knew that I had to have it I'll show you the pants first they look like this it's just like a pink and brown and white kind of stripy pattern um it doesn't have any stretch in it which is a little bit annoying um and then the front just has that little dome closed and then a zip running down. It has a pocket on either side which is nice and then the back just looks like this. They are kind of like a thick material which I do really really like. I bought these in a size 12 because I originally bought these from Boohoo in a size 10 because 10 is my usual size and I tried them on and they were too small. Like I feel like if you're going to order from Boohoo, order a size up than what you normally would because I'm normally a size 10 and the 10s were too small. Like they literally fit like an 8 and they were sold out of the size 10 tops and I like went back on and they were sold out of the size 10 shorts. So thankfully they still had a size 12 in the pants and the top. So that's why I went up a size because like in the top because I realized if the pants didn't fit me in a size 10 then I thought the top wouldn't fit me in a size 10 either. But I still have the size 10 shorts but I think I'm going to sell them because like I bought these shorts for like $30 plus $15 shipping. And Boohoo returns aren't 
free. Like I'm actually going to lose money if I end up sending the shorts back for a refund because they have like a shipping fee to like post it to their like warehouse that is non-refundable which is really really shit. So I don't actually think I'll be ordering off of Boohoo for a while. There were a few loose threads with the pants and the top which I did have to cut off myself which I don't mind but I know that a lot of people will get really really annoyed when you're paying like, like $40 including shipping for a pair of shorts and this two-piece set took like two weeks to get to me and the original shorts took like like three weeks to get to me so it was really really disappointing that they didn't fit but regardless now I am happy that I have the set but yeah just keep that in mind if you are thinking of ordering um, from Boohoo the top just looks like this so it has really really puffy sleeves but they do have a button on the sleeve which you can like do up to make them less puffy the back is kind of weird like the zip is like down the bottom but it doesn't zip down it zips up to get it open so it's kind of a weird design um but it fits me like perfectly around my waist like if i got the 10 it would not have fit um but the shoulders like they do sit on my shoulders fine but they are a little like a tiny little bit like big and it is really hard to wear jackets with this top just with how puffy the sleeves are so that is the other reason I bought the fashion tape just so I can like fasten them down a little bit just so like I don't have to worry about them slipping off but yeah I do think it is a really really cute set I got the top in a size 12 Um, they did also come with a spare button as well um, for the top just in case you do lose one so I thought that was really really good if you are interested in the set the shorts are called the Czech Taylor shorts pink and then the top is called the checkered textured puff sleeve crop top pink so so now I'm gonna move on to dresses so I'm gonna show you two that I bought um I do actually have a couple of new dresses in my wardrobe but they were from my workmate and this haul is already gonna be so long so I'm not gonna include those in this video but if you follow me on Instagram and if you subscribe to my channel then you'll probably see them at some point first dress I have to show you is this one here which I just think is such a beautiful dress so it kind of has this like stripy pink pattern on it um the sleeves are really just like floaty and flowy which I really really like um it has a zip at the back so that's how you get in and out of it and then the top just comes into this like v it is quite low cut but um I don't actually mind that and then it just has a little like dome so you can like do it up if you come down it does have a little tie that wraps around the dress just to cinch it in a little bit and then the skirt just looks like this so it's really really like floaty and flowy and pretty. Now I bought this from Dotty. I got this in a size 10. I mean I actually bought this for my birthday dinner. So um, I went to Lone Star for my birthday dinner and I just wanted something really really nice to wear. So as soon as I saw this in Dotty, I tried it on and yeah it's, it's a beautiful dress. It feels really really nice quality. I just thought for $20 that's such a good deal and Dotty when you buy it full price is not cheap so yeah I was really happy to add that into my wardrobe and it's very different from anything that I own like it kind of comes like just above my knees um or like just sits like slightly on my knees and then the last dress that I have is this dress here so again it's pink it has a little bit of a puff sleeve it's got elastic on the bottom and it's just like a pink like gingham print it does come into a skirt on the end and it kind of sits like just above my knee and um, the back is like ruched which I quite like. This one I bought from Cotton On in a size medium. Um, I did buy this on clearance I think for I think it was like $15 or $10 or something and at first I did buy this to potentially wear as like a birthday dinner dress. I knew this needed a belt and I have got one that's black that I put around and clip it in the front and that helps to give this dress a bit of shape because it doesn't actually have a lot of shape as it is. Yeah I bought this one um, in case I didn't find anything else and then I found the dotty one. I still really really like this and I think the pink gingham is really really cute. It is a little bit baggy on the front um, but I wouldn't have wanted a size smaller because then it like would have been too small on the length but again I can just easily fast 
fasten that with a little bit of fashion tape and there is like a square kind of cut on the front I don't know if you'll be able to see by the way it's hanging on the hanger and I am thinking of actually wearing this to a party that I have this weekend very different from anything that I own in my wardrobe all right sorry if the camera is slightly different um I just had to change my battery because it was dying and then I think the last category of like clothing is just like jackets and hoodies so I might start with this jacket here now I was so excited to get this jacket because I had been thinking about this jacket all through lockdown and then I tried to find it on the Kmart website and I couldn't find it and I couldn't wait to go back into store and pick one up and it is just this khaki green denim jacket here it is like a cropped jacket which I really really like because I don't currently have any cropped denim jackets and yeah it's just this gorgeous like light minty green khaki color has the long sleeves and it just has the tortoiseshell buttons this one I bought from Kmart and I got it in a size 12 so like I said before I like my jackets to fit oversized and not tight on me and I think when I bought this one they had like three left but then I went back like last week and they had like a whole lot out that they brought out from the back. So this jacket was originally $30 which I didn't want to pay for at Kmart because that's like more on the higher end of Kmart but then it came on to clearance for $15 and yeah I grabbed one and it doesn't feel like a heavy denim either like it just feels quite like lightweight and I really really like it. I also feel okay about buying all of these things because like over lockdown I had a really really good clear out of a lot of aspects of my wardrobe. Actually all of these last hoodies are from Kmart. This next one I ordered online because as of current I haven't seen it at all being stocked in my Kmart and that is just this light pink teddy bear hoodie this is literally so warm I can't even tell you the sleeves are quite long it's like that really nice soft fluffy material not like the really like scratchy wool kind of material and then the ends just come slightly cuffed it has the two pom-poms and it has a hood and then it just has the pocket oh yeah it is joined yeah so you can go all the way. This one I got in a size 10 to 12. I probably could have gone up a size to the 14 to 16. Just because this does fit a little bit more snug than I would like. But I mean it's still a really 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 comfy and nice hoodie. And um, this one I think was $17. But because I got it shipped to me it was like $5 postage which was fine. You can also get this in like a darker more like a plummy pink kind of colour. But I just liked the pale pink. The next jumper thingy that I have is actually a jacket. Now I don't usually wear zip up jackets but when once I show you this like you'll kind of understand why I bought it. It is just this jacket here so it's just like a creamy colour, has the long sleeves, has a hood and then the inside is just this like Sherpa wool material so I know it's going to be really really warm for the winter time and um, this one is in a size 12 and then it just has a couple of pockets it has the little like domes to do up at the front and it has a zip I think they only had like three of these left in my Kmart I think I paid $25 for this but honestly it is so so warm Um, the only thing I'm not a fan of is that the sleeves don't have the same Sherpa material but they do have that warm material I don't know if it's polar fleece or if it's something else but it's like that really soft warm material on the sleeves I'm just not a hundred percent sure how to style jackets so if you're good at styling jackets let me know your tips down below and what you tend to wear them with because like I said I don't usually tend to wear a lot of jackets all about warmth because I can't deal with cold whatsoever I hate when it's cold and then the last jumper that I have to show you guys is actually one that I saw on YouTube from another youtubers video I saw this jacket in there and as soon as I saw it I knew I had to have it so it is just this like cropped grey sweatshirt it has the long sleeves and then they're slightly cuffed on the end it has a hood and again the inside just has that like warm like 
material like the previous jacket i don't have a lot of cropped hoodies so the only cropped hoodie i do have is like a maroony color so i really really liked that this was gray and i like wearing like cropped hoodies with high-waisted jeans it does have like two little drawstrings here that are just like white and then they have these little like gold bits on the end actually it's silver it's not gold it has the little silver bit so you can like push it in and make it tighter if you want i mean i think i paid 16 dollars or 20 dollars or something this one i got in a size 16 um it's in the active wear section this does not fit like a size 16 this probably fits like a size 12 to 14 but they only had like a size 8 and a size 10 left or a size 16 and you guys know I like my jumpers oversized so there was no way I was getting a 10 because that would just fit like a normal jumper and if it's a hoodie I don't want a tight hoodie and it is so comfy I've already worn this it's really really warm all right now I might do shoes so I've kind of literally gone a bit insane on shoes I bought how many pairs do I have I have one two three four five six seven eight i have eight pairs of shoes that i've bought recently i really need to slow down like i knew i bought a lot of shoes but i didn't realize i bought eight pairs that's insane i might start with all the kmart shoes first because seven pairs out of the eight pairs that i'm going to show you are from kmart this first pair i'm going to show you is slightly dirty because i have been wearing these to work and they are just these shoes here so they're just like a black like platform style shoe i wanted to get another pair of these because i originally bought some from ruby shoes from cotton on and i wore them for like three weeks and then the bottoms cracked in half so i couldn't wear them anymore and had to throw them out so i thought i would get a pair of these from kmart they literally look exactly the same as the cotton on ones these shoes were only nine dollars these ones i got in a size seven fit really really well and then my mum ended up picking up a pair as well because she just liked them and when she saw them on me she realized she wanted a pair as well I might stick with the like sneaker type shoes so these next shoes Phil actually got for me so big ups to Phil um Phil is my fiance if you're new to the channel and they are just these sneakers here so I'll just show you one of them um, these are brand new I haven't worn these yet but they're just like a black kind of sneaker they are from the everlast brand so they say everlast um they're just like a purple and blue kind of like duochrome and then the like the actual tie up of them is weird because like this is all like one part of the shoe it doesn't have like the tongue of the shoe and then the laces the inside just say running these ones are in a size seven again um and these ones were in the active wear section and i didn't have any sneakers thought i needed a pair i actually can't remember how much these were i think these were over 20 dollars but under 30 dollars yeah i'm excited to wear them they're really really comfy shoes too so i might do some boots so i got these little boot heels here again from kmart um, i'm just going to show you one so they kind of feel like a suede kind of material these ones i got in a size seven they have like the chunky block heel which i really really like uh, these ones are just like little like ankle boots um, and i kind of like how the toe is like slightly pointed these literally feel just as good of quality as like number one shoes or Hannah's shoes even. These ones cost me $25 and I did originally have a pair of shoes like this but the bottoms on here like cracked and like broke and had holes in. I bought these instead and yeah I've since worn them and I just really really like these. So I might do some like flats. I was looking at my shoes, <laughs> they're all a mess but I was still looking at them and i was realizing what i was missing from my shoe collection is like nice ballet flats i went to kmart and just had a look at their flats and found a couple pairs that i liked so the first pair are these like mule style shoes they're just black and they have the little like gold bit across here they kind of remind me of like gucci shoes and yeah they have like the square going across like the square design which i think is really really nice um the actual heel is quite 
thick. Since worn these out to dinner and they're really, really comfy shoes. These ones were originally $17, but they were on like a shelf where like there were some other shoes that were like this. And they had been incorrectly priced down. It was actually the size eights that I saw that were priced down. So I took them both up to the counter and I said, well, these have been priced down, but these ones haven't. They're the same shoe. And she scanned them and they both scanned up at $17, but because one of them had been incorrectly priced, yeah, whoever was pricing it got lazy and I used that to my advantage to get these shoes for $8. So I ended up saving myself $9, which was great. Um, and yeah, I just think they're really, really cute shoes. And then the last pair of ballet flats that I bought, I had seen similar ones on the website um, on clearance and I couldn't actually find the particular style online that I saw in Kmart. But they had these which were very very similar and I just thought these were really really cute. So again I got them in the size 7 and they're just like a like beigey creamy colour on the like main part of the shoe. And then the pointed toe again, which I think can look really, really elegant. Um, and that part is just black and it just has like the gold trimming detail inside. Has the smallest heel, which I think is really, really cute. I think these ones were $12. Like these ones actually weren't on clearance. But yeah, they only had one size 7 left. And I didn't get them on the first night that I went to Kmart and I just kept thinking about it. And then I said to Phil, can we go back the next day? If they've got them, then I'll buy them because they're obviously meant for me. And if they don't have them, then they're not meant for me. Um, and then we went back and they still had the same size 7. Like they literally only had this one size. Like you could wear these out to dinner or you could wear these to like a business meeting and no one would think twice. I'm going to show you a few pairs of heels. So two pairs are from Kmart and one of them I bought online. But I'll show you those in a second. So the first pair of heels from Kmart that I got were these pair heels. Here. So again, I'll just show you one because it's going to be easier. So they've just got a thick heel and then the base just looks like this. So they've got like a brown croc like button style print. Again, they've got the buttons on here so you can adjust them and do them up according to how big your feet are, which I think is really, really good. Again, I got these in a size 7 and I actually saw these in Kmart when they first got released and I didn't really think much of them but then I saw them in another YouTuber's video and I just thought they looked really really cute and I do actually have some brown heels in my wardrobe but they're getting really like because they're like a like a soft kind of material and it's just starting to peel and look really really gross and I, to be honest I just need to chuck them out so I can replace those ones with these ones and I have already worn these they are really really comfy um, I actually wore these when Phil and I did our engagement shoot um, which I still need to edit photos so if you want to see photos from that then follow my Instagram I think these ones were on clearance for like I think they were like $9 or like $5 or something like they were really really inexpensive um, and they also have these in green and I was really tempted to get the green but because I bought um, these shoes the shoes I'm about to show you the platform sneakers and the black mules all together I'd already I was already buying like four pairs of shoes and I was like I can't buy another pair pair of shoes on top of that like I can't be that person with five pairs of shoes in my trolleys and then the last pair of heels that I got from Kmart are just these kind of like black strappy heels so again I got them in a size 7 they have the like square foot which I think are really really nice again it has the buckle with like the different holes so you can make it tighter or looser depending on your foot they have a small thin heel which I think is really really cute and I actually saw um, another YouTuber put these in her Kmart haul. I tried to find these online through lockdown but I couldn't find them so I thought when I go back into store if they still have my size then I will pick them up. I think this was like the only size 7 that they had left um, and I don't really have a lot of like strappy heels and black just goes with anything so yeah, I thought I'd grab these. Um, I've seen similar ones on Princess Polly, but they're like $60. And I think I bought these for like $10 or $5 on clearance or something. They do feel a little bit weird because they do have the like one strap that goes diagonal. So like this part of your foot just kind of feels a bit left out. The last pair of shoes I bought on Facebook Marketplace. Now I bought these for $40, which is a little bit um, on the the pricey side for shoes but they're from the Kardashian collection. I'm not a big fan of the Kardashians but I saw these on Facebook marketplace and I don't really have like a lot of nice 
like branded shoes to be honest the only type of brand of shoe that I buy generally is Converse so I thought it would be kind of nice as a birthday present to myself to treat myself to a nice pair of shoes so they just look like this and as soon as I saw them on Facebook I thought they would go really really nicely with my pink dotty dress that I bought for my birthday and I just wanted to look really really put together for my birthday and just look like I have my shit together as a 22 year old so they're just like a gold kind of heel they've got a very tall stiletto shoe I was actually fine walking in surprisingly even after a few drinks I was still fine and then it's just got the little gold buckle um I actually went to the person's house to go and try these on because she said I could go and try them on which I really really appreciated because these ones are in a size I think they're in a size 38 which I'm pretty sure is like a size 7 but I just wanted to be 100% sure they do have the little Kardashian collection thing on the bottom and yeah the lady was so lovely like literally one of the nicest human beings I have ever met yeah it just says the Kardashian collection in here and yeah, I didn't have any heels that kind of had this whole thing going on. So yeah, they're very different from anything that I own in my collection. And then we finally move on to accessories. So I don't have that many. I know this haul has probably already been really, really long. I might start off with scrunchies. So both of the sets of scrunchies that I got were from Kmart. So I just have these two which came in a pack. So they're just like poke dotty. And you've got one in the mustard and one in the pale pink. And I just thought they were really, really cute. Um, they've got like quite a long like bunny ear style these ones were five dollars and then the last set of scrunchies that I got was this little like beigey like pale pink set so you've got one that's just in this like darker blush pink one in a pink and white gingham which I just thought was really really cute and one in this little like beigey floral print again these were five dollars and I didn't have any in these like particular colors and I tend to wear pink quite a lot so yeah I thought I'd pick those up the next accessory I got was a tan belt with these little like double gold rings again this was from Kmart this one was eight dollars um I got mine in a size small and I just got this because I didn't have a tan belt in my collection I've only got my black one which I wear all the time and yeah I just feel like everybody just needs a tan belt next up I got a watch so I just got this rose gold one here and then the face of it is really really nice like it's just a nice rose gold and it just has the little lines that like the numbers um, this one just says quartz and I didn't have a watch so I thought I would pick one up. This one was originally $12 but I got it on clearance for $7 and it was the only one that they had left. So next up we have some earrings. So I have two pairs that I want to show with you guys. So the first pair are these ones here. So I'll just show you one. So it's just like this, I don't know if it's going to want to focus, but it's just like this diamondy circular kind of like stud style earring but it just hangs a little bit lower these ones I think are just called the like diamante open circle stud earrings um these ones are from boohoo and I think I paid $12 for these and I actually bought these when I bought the first pair of shorts that didn't fit so at least like the order wasn't a complete waste and yeah they're very different from any earrings that I own and yeah I just thought they were really really pretty with all the diamantes and then the last pair of earrings again are from Kmart and they are just these like trapezium drop style earrings hopefully they're gonna want to focus but yeah I just thought they were really really cute and um, I actually bought these through lockdown um I'll just kind of show one and I've seen similar ones like this on boohoo for like 15 20 dollars but I bought these for five dollars from Kmart and then the next item that I bought is a beanie so I don't really have like any beanies and I thought as a winter essential I kind of need one but it just has the little like folded bit on the bottom and the pom-pom it's like this gorgeous like knit material it's quite stretchy and it fits on my head like perfectly. I just got mine in this creamy colour. It's called Bone on the website. Um, it did look more white on the website than what it actually looks in real life like it's more of a beige than like a white and you can literally get these in so many colours like they do them in like mustard, orange, burgundy, green, black, white or 
beige. And this one was just $10. And then the last accessory and the last item in this haul that I wanted to share with you guys is this black backpack here. Now you guys all know if you've been on my channel for a while that at the moment I am obsessed with bags. Now I did a bag collection video so if you missed it I'll link it down below and I'll link it in the eye. I realized in that video that I never actually showed a backpack in my video and I feel like it's kind of a staple. So it just has a small little pocket in the front there and then a big pocket in the middle. It is really really spacious. Um, it does also have a zip pocket and like a small pocket that you can also put your phone. It also has the straps which you can adjust to fit your body. It also has the little handle up here so you can hold it like that if you prefer. It's just like a black crocodile or like faux crocodile skin print. Um, this one I bought from Kmart. I think it was like $14. I actually took this out to dinner on my birthday because it was the only bag that I have that would nicely fit my Polaroid camera and like my phone and my cards and like everything that I needed. It's such a sturdy backpack too. Like it doesn't feel like it's just gonna like break and fold. So there we go guys. That is my completed winter collective clothing haul round two. This will definitely be the last one for winter um, so there probably won't be another clothing haul coming until the summertime um, but yeah I <laughs> I bought a lot so I know this video has probably been a really really long one so I really hope you guys are still here and if you did enjoy it please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Please make sure to turn on the notifications and check out my social media. It's all linked down below in the description box. If you want to watch any of my previous hauls then I can link the playlist down below and I can link it in the cards up here. Yeah, like I mentioned at the start I will also try and link as much of the stuff um, down below that I can find. I think that is everything so I will see you guys in my next video. Bye! Oh my gosh this pile of stuff is literally so big. There is literally so much stuff that I didn't realize how much I bought until I laid it all out. The text the tech oh I need to do this one up.